paper chromatography. In paper chromatography, moisture present in the pores of filter paper acts a stationary phase. Organic solvents such as ether, ethanol, etc. are used as mobile phase, while the filter paper itself is the supporting material. Paper chromatography is the simplest and vastly used chromatographic technique. It has high capability of isolating organic and inorganic compounds. For example, separating amino acids or DNA bases from a sample. Therefore, it is a robust method of separating and identifying organic and inorganic compounds. In paper chromatography, the sample is first spotted on the paper with a pipette. The sample spot is allowed to get dried before placing in the chamber. Now, chromatography could be further proceeded in several distinct ways. Ascending, descending, 2D chromatography and radial chromatography. Ascending chromatography. In ascending chromatography, solvent is stored at the bottom of the chamber. Now, a tiny part of the filter paper is entirely dipped into the solvent. The solvent then starts swelling upward because of capillary action. The solubility of sample is not same in the mobile phase and stationary phase. Therefore, the sample splits on the paper. Descending chromatography In case of descending chromatography, the mobile phase sits at the top of the chamber. The solvent then falls downward on the paper and separates the sample. Radial chromatography In a radial chromatography, the sample is spotted at the center of a round paper. The paper has a wick attached to it which absorbs the solvent. The wick is dipped into the mobile phase. The solvent starts moving via wick and alerts in all directions. Thus it radially separates the sample. 2D chromatography in this type, chromatography proceeds in two dimensions. After successful chromatography in one direction, the paper is rotated at an angle of 90 degrees and chromatography proceeds again. Colored molecules are easily visible on the paper, but colorless molecules are not. Thus, different physical and chemical methods are employed to make them all visible. Christian Friedrich Sean Bain introduced paper chromatography for the first time in year 1865. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you want to help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.